That was quite horrid. Jeez. What's up, everyone? This is Saints Night Nine One. Back once again for some more Let's Play Blue Dragon. In the last part, we managed to defeat all the moon satellites, destroy a giant robot, and basically get our souls ripped out from our bodies. Quite creepy, actually. Uh, let's try and check up on the others. I see you're awake. Uh, yeah. Oh, I'm glad you slept so well. You've been out for three days. Three days! Did you know you were asleep for that long? Three days? I found you lying unconscious near the village. What about my friends? Oh, they're already awake, dear. I saw them in the plaza earlier. They were very worried about you because you didn't wake up. As a matter of fact, the young girl was even crying. In the plaza? Uh, you said this was a village. What's the name of this place? This is Devour Village. Well, I'm Shu from Talta Village. Thanks for helping me. Well, at the very least, he's polite, now isn't he? Oh, she, she loves saying the same thing over again. Three days? You know we were sleeping for three days? It was three days, you know. No shit! I heard it three times! Oh, well, that's quite ominous. Also, those are moving. That is not a good sign. Where the hell are they at? They're in the plaza. I'll know them when I see them. And now we have no magic, considering our shadows are pretty much taken away. Except for shoes, apparently, that saved them in a last ditch effort. So now we can't use any of the things that we've had for so long. And of course, Zola ran off, so there's nothing we can do about that. Thank you. There they are. Hey guys! Hey! Shoo! Shoo! <laughs> are you guys okay? Well, what about you? Kloop told me what happened. I'm okay. What about Zola? She isn't here? That's Zola for you. She probably made a clean escape. I'll bet she went back to King Gibral. She can take care of herself. 
I guess. Shu, how did this happen? How did we get away from Nene? That wasn't a dream, was it? He was gonna crush us, wasn't he? It wasn't a dream. Jiro, do you remember when Nene called us vessels? Yes, I remember that all right. Those light spheres that we swallowed were actually Nene's soul. I'm guessing the reason he was having us use magic was so that it would develop and nourish his soul. And that was in order to cure the rapid aging disease he has. He put on this act to make it seem like he was killing us, so we would grow the resolve to not give up. But the reason he did this was so that we'd build up the magic. So we can't use magic anymore? If he doesn't need us, then why are we still wearing these collars? But I used magic. What? what? It was so intense, I wasn't sure what was happening, but I knew it was magic. That's what allowed us to escape. <laughs> yeah. At the time, I thought we should all just run away. Can you believe I actually thought something like that? You gave up? That's not like you! Yeah, I know. I gave up. Jiro, I think I finally understand. Giving up or running away isn't always a bad thing. I mean, not if we live to fight another day. It's just all part of the bigger plan, you know? I realize that I won't give up is not always the answer. Yay, finally learned something. And for some reason, Kluke and Jiro still have MP, whereas Maro and Shu do not. That makes a lot of sense. Not. What else is around here? Any more treasure chests I can pilfer from? This is a grave site. Jesus. This looks like a grave site. Guess when they caught the Devour Village, they weren't kidding. I'm pretty sure that thing is gonna eat someone. These up raw plants are scary. This thing is like ten times worse. Also, it's got a murder of crows with it, too. Yeah. <coughs> Jesus Christ, what the fuck was that? didn't work either. No way! How can a tree be stronger than an axe? Something's wrong here! Yes, something is wrong with this entire village. Huh? Those trees keep us trapped in here. Keep you trapped? Yes, that's right. We are its food. There is a flesh-eating tree in the middle of our village. A flesh-eating tree? You guys couldn't have shown up in a worse uh. place for a rescue. So, tell me, where did you come from, anyway? Well... That's what we'd like to know. It's too bad. You've had a terrible twist of fate. The flesh-eating trees are horrible. Three or four times a year, they grab one of us to eat. If we try to leave, the other trees block the way. If we try to chop them off, well, 
You saw what happened. Uh, Could it be? Is Nene doing this? Who else? Well, you know, eventually that thing's gonna run out of food to eat. So it's pretty much gonna be starving itself unless they will unless it lets the people propagate. Which I doubt it's going to do. Because it's just a fucking tree. It just grows everywhere. Why is there still children running around? Yeah, I saw what happened, you don't need to worry. If I didn't walk over somebody's grave, that'd be quite horrible. He'll look around a little bit more before we check and see how tough the tree is. I'm pretty sure it's a no-win scenario, as per usual. And also, if we were found at outside the village, how the hell did the lady get out? Or how did we get in? And we're on the edge of a cliff. So he ain't going anywhere. At least for now. Alright, enough. Enough messing around. Let's go check out the tree. Because there's not much else for us to do here. Uh, surprisingly, I still have money. I don't know why. Seems I'd be flying out of my pocket or something. Be careful! Don't go near that thing! But this is the flesh-eating tree, right? We gotta get rid of it! No, you can't! Shoo! We have no magic, remember? We're unarmed. Maybe I can do it. Why? You couldn't do it before! I did it when I fought Nene. Maybe I can do it again. Yeah, this is not going to end well for us. And where the hell did he pull that little sword from? Oh yeah, this is a fight you can't. Luckily, everyone else is smart enough to stay away. So oh, high. Or You're awake. You sure never give up on anything, do you? <clears throat> there is nothing to be done. We can only wait for that tree to wither and die. What else can we do? That tree has made us prisoners here. We just try to ignore it. Playable. May if I had my magic, I can burn that damn thing to the ground. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like that's going to happen anytime soon. And also, sure, you're kind of wasting this woman's resources when she constantly has to heal your ass after you get yourself into trouble. Alright, where is everyone at? I leave again. You need to go to the inn. That girl you were with? She just collapsed, and they brought her inside. You mean Kluke? Playable. Thank you for that. Accessory shop. Oh, I got loud. This is no splash time. For our sake! Oh, it's you. 
You probably heard, but she just collapsed and they brought her over here. She's in the back. You should go see her. Playable. Trail and arrow will get you everywhere, I guess. Let me just a little bit before you head over. You can go on this side. I think the rooms are connect, but I guess not. And also, a lot of pot. Shoo! Look, she. Look, oh, Luke. She has a high fever, and she's very restless. She's having bad dreams. Luke! Stay away! Why? Why are you always so mean? Stop! I think she's seeing Nene in her dream. You know, Kook hasn't said anything about that time at all. This stupid ring! It's not helping her! Don't! But this ring, it's not working! Listen to me. There's one thing Kloop told me about the time when she was captured by Nene. Hmm? She said that because she had those rings, she was able to believe she'd be with us again. If we could just use magic! Yeah, well, ifs aren't gonna get you anywhere, now, are they? Damn it. God, that loading takes a while. Alright, everyone must be asleep. I'm gonna go stare at the ocean again. The only thing that gives me call mine in this kind of situation. Checkpoint. Nothing important's about to happen. tree ate them. They died trying to save me. Do you know how awful it is living as an orphan? To know your whole life that your parents died for you? I can't go on living like this. Yeah, but still. Please. You just got here, didn't you? You'll never understand. You don't know what it's like to live with that monster. There's nothing good here anymore. We just wait to be eaten. I'd rather be dead. I can't take living anymore. 
Would you just let me die? Hey, no way! I would destroy that thing! I would put an end to that monster tree! That's easier said than done. Oh, come on! Is it easy to throw away the life your parents died for? Do you think this would make them happy? Who cares? Just shut up! You think you're the only one whose parents were slaughtered by monsters? Who has to laugh when she'd rather cry? You're not the only one suffering! <sighs> oh, whoa. Didn't mean to preach. I know what you mean. I do. It's just... Oh, forget it. There's just no point anymore. I thought I had to save you, but okay. Whatever. <laughs> I don't care if you want to throw it all away. I could never give up like that. But hey, that's just me, I guess. I'll never give up. I'm not gonna sit around here waiting to be eaten by some tree. I won't. I did it. Without the light sphere, I was able to. Shu, what are you doing? Jiro, I'm going to get my magic back again. Yeah, but if you couldn't do it before... Back then, I didn't try hard enough. I don't think I truly believed in myself. But now I think I can do it. So why the change of heart? Because of her. Huh? <laughs> this girl, she just tried to kill herself. What? It sucks to give up and die. It's easy to say, don't give up. But unless you turn those words into strength, you won't get strong. You can't even live. But now, after all we've been through, I know what it takes to say, I won't give up! <laughs> and quick time event! Button mashing hell. Someone's gonna get very tired after this. I can just, I can just picture it. Though it's still nothing like Banjo Tooie's bullshit with that stupid rat thing in Mary Mary. Not even close. Come back, my strength! My magic! My power! To protect everyone! Here comes something interesting. Black Dragon Shadow. And unleash your true power. And a new mechanic has been introduced to the game. Right above your character's profile, you can see there's a tension bar. Get that filled up, and you get to unleash an ultimate attack. It fills through both hitting an opponent and getting hit. And once the thing is filled, it gets quite the spectacle to behold. And once it's filled, no, perform or a corporeal attack. Just enjoy.
pretty damn badass, if I do say so myself. 